the increasing popularity with, with young people should have a voting base more than double its current base. It should be wildly popular. And if there are thousands upon thousands of voters and thousands upon thousands of nominators, the ability of any one specific faction to dominate anything is massively diluted. Whereas propo this proposal is really going to expose the awards to even more likelihood of manipulation and do a great deal of damage, in my opinion, to the reputation of the Hugos as a whole, to the reputation of the Hugo Committee for honesty, and to the potential future of the Hugo Awards. Mr. McCarty, I saw you rise first, and I Speaking as an administrator, 3SV actually does something else that wasn't, I think, even intended that I find to be a great good. One of the hardest jobs that we have when we close, a, when we close the nominating ballot is determining everyone's eligibility because so much knowledge is needed for it. This essentially crowdsources people helping us figure out things that aren't eligible in a way that does not damage the reputation of the Hugos, which I find to be a great good and is a much bigger benefit than the small thing of setting up a second vote. Uh, on the idea of this engineering a place where it can be further, uh, where it can cause further people to engineer the system, this requiring a, a majority of the people participating, it's, a not, it, it's inherently democratic. And if you have a group that is 50% plus one, then yes, you should get to say what's there. And I don't care who that group is. I look at it. Yeah. Yep. This is a speech and answer. Hi, Mun Rosen. I sent in a, a proposed oh, word. No, in the mic. Um, I sent in an exact wording of, uh, of what I proposed to amend uh, the resolution to, to the committee. I'm not sure if they got it. I just did it a few minutes ago. But my proposal is to keep the accept reject voting uh, as, as stated uh, in this uh, proposal. However, um, rejected entries are not removed from the finalists. Um, what happens is, is that we lengthen the ballot so that uh, from the list of the final 15, we keep... Let the member finish, please. We keep everything uh, as a finalist from the first entry on the list through the fifth non-rejected entry. So if there are any rejected entries above that fifth, they also go on the final ballot. This way, no nominee, which would have otherwise made the final ballot, is removed from the final ballot. So everyone in the final voting can still vote for it. However, if the sense of the, uh, the WorldCon membership is that some uh, items are rejected, what happens is, is that we just lengthen the list to include uh, further entries that are not rejected. And then, you know, people can vote or not vote as they choose. And I have a uh, specific wording. I yield to the question. Yeah, is, is there a second for the motion? Yep, we've got one over there. Is that a second? Okay. The speaker will yield for a question. Jeff Haas, two A's, one S. Well, get it from your yeah. uh, My question is, so if could you could you move the mic? <laughs> <clears throat> my question is, uh, so if two uh, semifinalists are rejected, then the number of finalists will be extended by two. Is that what you're looking to do? Yes. Thank you. Uh, possibly even more if the. Uh, if there is a not, if, if there are more rejected ones below, you know, ab above a non-rejected one. Thank you. No, no, no. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. There, Miss Axe is question. Please come. Have a point of order, Mr. Chair. The, yes, it does. <laughs> 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 
Mr. Chairman, do we have actual text of this proposal that we can look I, at? I was looking at my email while the speaker was speaking, and I don't personally have it. I don't know if any of the other members, there is unfortunately a delay with the con server. Uh, so if, you, if you like, I have it written in handwriting. I can read uh, it. Yeah, right. thank you. Please bring that up, and we'll attempt to get this on the screen. Uh, the chair will read the text once he has it. Yes, you can ask your question while we get it up on the screen. Okay, I remain Rachel Axe, and the question is, and I apologize if you said this and I missed it because I was like typing and summarizing. Um, when we, ex it, it, if we extend the list, um, I'm trying to not like scream into the mic. If we extend the list for, as you proposed, would there, would, the things that were rejected that are still on there be marked as having been rejected or would it just be like glossed over? Um, I sent that in as part of my email. Uh, no, uh, once, once we finish uh, producing the final ballot, the final ballot simply contains entries in no particular order. It's simply the list of nominees so without any indication that they were rejected or not. Okay, so it's basically just, we, we can see that there's now eight entries on this, and so, so obviously three of them were rejected. Or Let's try to play a, a game and figure out which three it was. Or there was, there a, tie was a tie for tie. last place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Secor, for what purpose does the member rise? For the speaker, please come to the microphone. Not that this is likely, but in the case where the membership rejects the entirety of the long list, do we then move on to the next 15 people? Uh, I, again, I have, the, uh, I have that in, in sent in, because I'm a programmer, so I think of edge cases. Um, I defined the last accepted entry as either the fifth non-rejected entry, or um, if, there is, you know, if there isn't any, I think then just, uh, you know, like the fifth entry on the list, or you know, so you you always get five, uh, assuming there are five nominees on the long list. I didn't cover that case. All right, I I wish to have a speaker against, but I understand that you. Tammy has a speech against. Ta Tammy, do you want to speak? Okay, you don't need the. Do we do we want the text before we have a speech against? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Tammy, could you come to the microphone a sec? I'm trying to actually have us know what we're debating before we continue to debate it, but. Mr. Chairman. The chair, once he sits back down, the chair recognizes Mr. Eastlake for a motion on the amendment. Well, do, no. it doesn't really it's matter. It's not quite complete. Uh, I would like to move to refer the constitutional amendment with this pending amendment to it uh, to a committee to report back tomorrow. And uh, if this motion to refer to committee is defeated, I think we should defeat this because it's just too complicated to try to get through today. Is there any... Uh, do we need to debate the motion to refer to committee? No. no. All right. All those in favor of referring the amendment to committee to report back tomorrow, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? Pass. It, the uh, ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The motion is referred to committee. Um, Mr. Rosen.